Okay, I've got a different camera with me today. I've just bought this Zeiss Icon Netta off of eBay for 35 quid. And uh, I shot a roll of film on it yesterday. Black and white, just any old trash, just to see if it worked. And yeah, it works. Uh, there is one slight issue with the, with the edge of one of the, um, on one side of the neck seems to have a weird little kink in it, but it's okay, it's still usable. I bought it for doing panos uh, and you, it's great, 35 quid. I'll run through it a bit later and uh, show you how it works and all that kind of clever stuff. But I've had a crazy morning just chasing the sun and making big balls ups along the way. Go home. So, um, welcome to a sunrise on the River Fowl. It's not quite what I was hoping for. I really thought we were going to get some mist this morning, and that would have been just gorgeous. Cop the shutter. F16. Going to go for three seconds. Uh, I've set up another shot. I love the way that the light's reflecting off the trees in the, in the distance. Foreground's pretty muddy, shall we say, literally, literally muddy. Um, looks great through the video camera, looks crap through the camera. <laughs> this is where it gets complicated when you're using such a basic camera, because uh, the f-stops on it and the shutter speeds are very very limited so you have to kind of jiggle and jiggle and juggle to try and find something that will work see I've got f16 is pretty much half a second I haven't got half a second exposure my uh, you got bulb and then the next exposure is 125th 125th would put me on um, halfway between f4 and f5.6 and the widest aperture on the lens is 6.3. I need to get some filters. Actually, that light suddenly um, looking good over there. One, one thousand, two. That's amazing. I just um, set up, did, took that shot. Move the camera a couple of feet, turn around, and the light's just gone. Just completely gone. I'm glad I took the photo when I did. Someone's enjoying their breakfast. Doesn't look very appetizing, does it? So we might as well run through the camera because the light's gone, okay? So this is a 6x9, 120 film camera. Built in about 1953, I understand very compact it's just <laughs> you compare it with my Hasselblad so okay what have we got you load the film in the back the way you do plenty of other um, 120 film cameras very simple very basic you press this button here and that pops out to fold it away you just push these little levers down and then it will fold back again okay You've got your wind on here and then on the back you can look through and you can quite clearly see the numbers of the next exposure. Uh, this one's got a little clever little thing on it and there's this little red dot on here and um, it won't let you do double exposures. My other camera doesn't do that and I have done a few double exposures with it. This one it will not let you crank forward fully uh, or at least it won't let you expose until you've cranked it into the correct position. Uh, that's quite handy. Took me a while to get used to it. 
Um, you've got your aperture here, which runs from 6.3 to f32. And then here you have your zone focusing. So you can estimate your distances in feet and then the feet are written on here. But for landscapes and for uh, the pano kind of things I'm doing, I can just put it on infinity and I'm really impressed with the, um, the quality of it so far. Minimum range is seven feet. Uh, to cock the shutter, you just pull that lever down and then when you expose, it'll shoot back up. I'm not gonna cock the shutter now because otherwise I'll end up accidentally exposing a piece of film. Oh my God, the lights come back. I might be taking some more photos. Whoa. Right, back to taking pictures. Okay, um, that light, I missed it. It lasted about 10 seconds and it was gone. So it's time to go home and have a, have a breakfast, I think. Um, got two more shots left on the roll, so I may well end up just um, using up the roll at Port Levin this evening if we get a nice sunset. I'll be sending these uh, films off to Peak Imaging in Sheffield who, who do a brilliant job. Anyway, so uh, thank you for watching my video and um, see you on the next one.